coach Matt Carsandu here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas for UFC 300, standing alongside a victorious Kayla Harrison, who just defeated Holly Holm via second round submission. First of all, Kayla, congratulations. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel great. I, I mean, really, like I'm on cloud nine. It feels really good. A lot of fighters talk about octagon jitters before mm -hmm. they make their mm -hmm. debut. Were you at all nervous going into this fight? Yeah, I mean, I think it goes in waves, right? Like, I would be really nervous and like, what the hell am I doing? And then I would be like, ah, oh, this is good. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. But when I walked into the octagon, I felt really good. The war Everything went really fast tonight, which I was grateful for because when it drags on, I get a little anxious. Yeah, so yeah. everything went really fast. And then, boom, it was time to fight. So it was good. Like, I prayed to God to give me peace yeah. tonight and to and to just like fill me with peace and I had that tonight. Did the fight play out like you expected? Because in that first round, when she started to clinch with you and even got one reversal, uh, I, I thought to myself, what's going on? She's going, <laughs> she's <laughs> playing right into Kayla's hands as Kayla's world. I was, she caught me off guard too. <laughs> she caught me off guard. It was, I I expected, I, I really trained for, for especially the first round, for her to be on her bike and for, for the footwork to really come into play. And she didn't really run. She stood her ground. I remember, I think I landed the first punch. Um, and then when I did get a hold of her, I was like, normally, because I had an overhook, not an underhook, normally when I do that, I'm able to kind of like um, sprawl and settle my hips, but she was ready for it. Yeah. She reversed me and I was like, mother. It was good. It was really good, good play by her, but I feel like I was able to keep my composure, get back to a good position pretty fast and yeah. Make weight, check. U300, check. Be a boxing hall of fame, a former UFC champion, check. This was a statement win, and you've done a <laughs> lot already in your combat sports career. How, where does this rank for you right now? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, you know, Olympic golds, world judo world champion tonight. Really? Yeah. So this is more than anything you accomplished at the PFL? I mean, I don't know, maybe that first title at the PFL was pretty special. It's tough, it's tough. Yeah. It's just magical out there. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's magical, it's different. It's been great to kind of see the progression of your career, not just in the cage, but also on the mic. You, <laughs> you're bringing me confidence, you know how to cut a promo, and you're not wasting any time. You want a title shot this year, right? Yeah, yeah, I do, I'm ready. Do you have a time frame of when you'd like to fight? And also perhaps if there's an event in mind, because the UFC, you've got some big ones coming. There's the Sphere, mm -hmm. International Fight Week. Mm -hmm. There's always an MSG show mm -hmm. in November. Mm -hmm. Any idea of when you'd like to return? Um, no, I don't have any specific date in mind. I should probably talk to my coaches before I just start throwing stuff out there like that. But, you know, I hope that I made enough of a statement that they, they give me the title shot. And um, until then, I'll just keep, you know, I'm going to take a week off. Coach Mako told me I'm not allowed to let my hair down too much, but I'm going to let my hair down just a little bit and then uh, get right back into the gym and get ready for it. Has anyone made you aware of the Amanda Nunes tweet? She was paying yes. attention. She was watching. What did you make of that? I love it. It's great. Listen, there's no... Um, I didn't mention her name because she's retired, but if she'd like to come back, I'd welcome her with open arms. So you made weight. Everything's done. Are you just going to be uh, hopefully happy that this never comes up again? Can Kayla Harrison make bantam weight? And also, by the way, how much did you weigh actually stepping into the cage tonight? <laughs> um, I was 160 pounds with my clothes on and my shoes. Okay. So probably about 155 pounds, probably 156 pounds. Um, I'm sure that there will, there will be more. I'm, it, I get it. Look, I get it. I didn't know if I could make 135 pounds. So fair play to everyone for having their doubts. Um, but I believe in myself. I truly believe that God placed this dream on my heart for a reason and put me here for a reason. I had faith. I had faith in him. I had faith in my team. Um, it paid off. And yeah, I just keep doing the next right thing. That's all I keep doing. One step at a time. Massive win. Welcome to the UFC. Thank you. And we can't wait to see you fight here again soon. Thank you so much.